Hello, Vaughn community. How you doing? It's Bill with the Vaughniverse. After a long, unintentional break, I'm back and I'm here to do the 2022 vinyl tag. Uh, this year's vinyl tag, uh, there was several floating around and being that I'm so late to the game, I couldn't decide which tag to follow. So I picked questions from four different <laughs> vinyl tags that are floating out there. Um, Stunt Rock Confusion and Rob Walker, I think they were the first two to put out their vinyl tag questions. Uh, the youngest members of the VC, I grabbed some questions from uh, that vinyl tag. And I also did uh, grab some questions from Norman Maslov, Mazzy's Whack-A-Mole vinyl tag. So I've picked 22 questions in total from four different vinyl tags. And I'm going to answer the answer them here. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty late to the game here. Everyone's done their vinyl tags weeks ago, um, so I'm going to do that. But before I get started, um, I just wanted to give a couple uh, shout outs to some new channels that I've seen recently, and I uh, just want to get their names out there for you to go check out. Uh, I enjoyed each of them. Haven't dove in into. Um, a lot of their videos but I've watched and um, just want to recommend a couple channels so the first one pretty recent channel Jacobs Jacobs Prague world he has 31 subscribers cool channel he's a bit younger and um, he's a big fan of Gentle Giant so uh, I saw the word Prague and I checked him out and like what I saw so check him out Jacobs Prague world then uh, I also came across the channel, uh, channel Cavo Richard. Really nice outgoing guy. He's got 83 subscribers, um, has a few videos out there, so check him out. And, and the third channel is Stylus Meets Vinyl. Um, another pretty cool channel, checked out a couple of his videos. So yeah, check out uh, those three channels. The links are down below. I uh, recommend you go uh, check them out and let them know that uh, we want them to keep making videos and participate in the vinyl community. So now the vinyl tag, like I said, I picked questions from four different vinyl tags and I kind of random or, or, uh, put them in random order, uh, kind of alternated between the, the uh, tags that I picked. So I'm just gonna get started here. And the first question is, favorite album purchased in 2021 so one of the favorite albums and uh i was this was high on my want list and i was thrilled to come across a copy and it is future legends by Froop, the prog band out of ireland uh this is from their debut album from 1973 this is a music on vinyl reissue a really great album Thrilled to have it on vinyl. It is uh, uh, really, really wonderful. Um, definitely a favorite of mine. And I've become a pretty big fan of Froop. Um, there may be a live album coming out for them uh, soon. So I uh, hope to get that this year when it comes out. Next question is show the first record you got in 2021. That was Agit Agitation Free. Uh, this, this is their album, um, Molesk. So Agitation Free, uh, German band, Krautrock, Experimental, um, Electronic. Uh, really great, really like this album a lot. Uh, want to get more agitation free in the collection um this is a really good one it's first album i picked up in 2021 number three favorite pickup from a trip uh so i went to uh, charlotte north carolina in june with the family to visit uh my wife's sister and her family and I uh, met up with Dave at Local Bandography, uh, John the Digital Gramophone. John and I went and hit up Noble Records. 
to see Dylan and picked up some goodies there. And then we met Dave over at Premium Sound. And there I picked up Elvin Jones Live at the Lighthouse from 1972. Awesome uh, Blue Note live album by Elvin Jones. Yeah, I was really thrilled to find this one. As a matter of fact, Dave might have even <laughs> put this in my hands. I can't remember properly, but um, uh, so great pickup. I uh, was really happy to find this one. One of the uh, great finds of that trip. Number four, show an album with illustrated creatures on the cover. So the very first thing that popped into my mind uh, was the VC's own Michael P. Dawson and his album Paleozoic. And see lots of uh, illustrated creatures on here. Uh, great album by Michael P. Dawson. Uh, this was the first album I picked up by him. Um, and yeah, uh, really, really enjoy it. Okay, number five. An album by f the first artist you saw live. Well, the first artist I saw live happens to be my favorite artist, and that's Genesis. And I saw them on the Invisible Touch tour back in 1987. This album came out in 1986. Um, it was May of 1987. And um, not only was it the first concert I saw, but... Genesis was also the last co concert I saw back in December of last year. Um, really great time. Tim over at High Noon's Vinyl came up from Orlando, Florida. Uh, we met for the first time, did some record shopping during the day, and went and saw the concert at night, and it was just a blast. My oldest brother also went, and we had a great time incredible show and uh, some great memories made that night uh, number six show the last record you got in 2021 so the last record I got in 2021 was Brian Eno's uh, ambient four on land um, this is the Abbey Road Studios Half Speed mas Mastered Version pressing of this. Uh, it's great. Uh, this was the last album I picked up in 2021. Okay. Um, show a picture disc. It's number seven. So I don't really have many picture discs, but one I've had forever. I've ha I picked this up back in very late 80s maybe even early 90s but i think it was like 88 89 somewhere around then this is a genesis picture disc um this is just interviews um and i don't know what year it came out i can't find a year on it but i picked it up late 80s so i'm thinking sometime around in the 80s maybe um so there you have the band circa 1976 and on the back here, you have a picture of Peter Gabriel and Phil Collins together. So that's my picture disc. All right, number eight, show an album that represents the environment or climate change. This is Gateway. And to me, uh, this painting kind of makes me think of Acid Rain. So I'm using this. This is a great album. Um, on the ECM label from 1975, it's uh, John Ab Abercrombie on guitar, Dave Holland on bass, and the brilliant Jack DeJunette on drums. And this album is really, really great. There's John, Dave, and Jack. Great album. Okay, moving along here. Number nine, an album you've not played yet. Okay, uh, this isn't even out of the shrink and or opened yet, unsealed. But this is um, 
yes featuring john anderson trevor rabin and rick wakeman and uh they're live at the apollo album from 2018 it was recorded live in at the apollo in manchester uh in 2017 i believe yeah john anderson rick wakeman and trevor rabin um all members with yes at some point they uh reconnected started working together decided to form a band initially called arw and then um they changed it to Yes, featuring John Anderson, Trevor Rabin, and Rick Wakeman, uh, causing much controversy because the current Yes lineup is still using the Yes name. So it's confusion over who is Yes. <laughs> but anyway, this is a live album. Um, and I haven't opened it yet or played it or cleaned it or anything. So that'll be coming soon. Number 10 is show the record you spent the most on in 2021. Uh, I was thrilled to get this. Um, this is the album I spent the most money on. Um, and that is the original master recording uh, of Close to the Edge by Yes. Speaking of Yes. Um, my local record store, who I'll be mentioning later on in the questions, um, posted on uh, Instagram that this had come in. And as soon as I saw it, I called them up um, and uh, picked it up. So Close to the Edge by Yes, the original master recording. And yes, uh, really, really clean, sounds great, plays excellent. and thrilled to have it okay number 11 is favorite album released in 2021 so for me uh, there's no question um it was a love supreme live in seattle by john coltrane um this was a recording on um well in S seattle obviously uh one of the few uh, times the entire Love, Supre Love Supreme was played live. Um, it happened to have been uh, re recorded and kind of put away. Um, it wasn't professionally recorded or anything, um, but recorded and put away, and they finally released it, and it's wonderful. It just takes a Love Supreme to the next level. A Love Supreme is one of my most favorite albums um and this does not disappoint this is not an audiophile album or anything like that but um it sounds really really good to me um and i am i love it i'm really happy that this got released and um really happy to have it okay um Number 12, show a band where someone plays an auto harp. <laughs> so this was a challenging question, but I managed to find that on the Moody Blues in Search of the Lost Chord. Uh, classic album, terrific. Um, probably my favorite Moody Blues album. Love this one. But Mike Pinder, the magnificent Mellotron player, um, is also credited along with Mellotron's piano, harpsichord, cello, acoustic guitar, and bass guitar. He plays the auto harp. So, <laughs> the auto harp on In Search of Lost Chord, played by Mike Pinder on. Okay, what number was that? That was number 12. Okay, number 13 is show a box set. This is one I don't believe I've shown. Um, but it is uh, Popol Vuh. Uh, their 
uh, volume two box set called uh, Acoustic and Ambient Spheres. Really terrific box set. I have volume one. Um, and this is just more of their albums, a couple soundtracks and a couple other albums. And uh, it's wonderful. So Popol Vu, Ambient. Um, and this is a lot of acoustic. Um, really one wonderful. Led by Florian Fricka. Um, really, really great stuff. Uh, really happy to pick this up. Um, four albums, and they each come with uh, pictures and posters and and stuff. A really, really nice box set. And volume one was uh, equally as nice. So that's my box set. All right, moving along here, number 14. Um, your most anticipated record of 2022. Um, it was such a surprise um, a month or two ago when it was announced that Porcupine Tree were getting back together and after quite a long hiatus um, and putting out a new album and touring this come this year 2022 and in June of this year um, their new album called closure at closure slash continuum so it's kind of like up in the air is this the closure of the band or is it going to continue forward um, I'm very very excited that for that album um, coming out in June uh, this is their 2002 album in, in Absentia. Really, really wonderful. I've been so happy that they've been reissuing their catalog. So I've managed to pick up a bunch of them. But yeah, definitely looking forward to the new album in June. I already have it on pre-order and uh, definitely looking forward to it. So, uh, number 15, a uh, shout out to a favorite local record store. So, uh, where I'm at, there's really not many record stores close by. Um, I have to drive uh, a bit, but the one that I frequent the most and is probably my favorite is Siren Records, located in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Um, that's probably about 20 minutes away, um, not too far. So um, I like to get out there. Um, and yeah, they they have a great mixture of both new, new releases and used. Um, but great re record store. It's been around uh, quite a long time. It's in a great spot in a great town and um, it's great. Siren Records. So number 16, show an album with non-English, with a non-English title. So this is an, uh, Tangerine Dream and their album Zeit. Um, so Zeit uh, is time in German. So wonderful album. Um, so yeah, Zeit. Number 17, an album with a sporting theme. This was a no-brainer for me when I saw this question. Uh, this is the Great Jazz Trio. Um, uh, so it's um, Hank Jones on piano, uh, Ron Carter on bass, and Tony Williams on drums. They did some recordings at the Village Vanguard in New York and uh, put them out. After this one came out, there was a volume two. Um, this came out in 1978 or it was recorded in 77. What year did it come out? Uh, it came out in 1978, um, I believe in Japan only. And then later on, uh, initially it was on the East Wind label in Japan. Uh, which this copy is, and then I think later out, later on it came out on the inner city label in the U.S. I could be wrong on that, but um, 
yeah really really great album i still need to find volume two um i think there might even be a volume three but uh this this one's great and on the cover you have the pic picture uh of the boston red sox roger morit i think that's how you say his name morit m-o-r-e-t um <clears throat> but so sporting theme great album uh where are we number 18 show a record you love but that you haven't given much love to of late um this isn't only a record but it's banned um so i really need to go back and revisit the police um i love the police but I haven't listened to any of the police records in quite some time, probably several years, a couple years. Uh, so <clears throat> that's going to be the answer to this question. Um, this one is Regatta de Blanc, a uh, really, really great album. And the police, I need to get back and listen to them. Um... Number 19 is favorite piece of classical music. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, I really, really like uh, Dvorak's Symphony Number no. 9 from the New World. Um, yeah, one of my great or favorite uh, classical pieces. And. Um, this actually was one of the first records that I uh, picked up once I started getting back into collecting vinyl records back in uh, 2016. Um, so, yeah, Dvorak uh, from the New World. Great, great uh, symphony. Let's see, uh, that was number 19, number 20. Show an album with motorcycles on the cover. <laughs> uh, Emma, are you watching? Uh, of course, I'm going to show uh, Cheap Trick in color. So, um, I, think, I think I see some motorcycles. Cheap Trick. Great, great band. Um, number 21. Show a seven inch single. Um, picked out something cool here. This is um, an original uh, from Germany Kraftwerk Autobahn single from 1974. Uh, you can see the vertical swirl there. So the B side is comma 10 melody one. Um, and the A side is Audubon. So uh, I'm going to do a little shameless plug here for my 80s uh, singles vault series. I um, will be getting back to that soon might mix up the format a little bit but uh, I have a series where I uh, show and play um, seven inch singles um, from the 1980s so um, I have a pretty nice collection of 80s singles and uh, I've been just going through and uh, rant, you know picking several and showing them in uh, in in video format um, so, seven inch single, craft work, Autobahn. And I've made it to the final question, and it is show a record you got as a present or VCLT in 2021. Um, I was the recipient of a lot of generosity in 2021, and really since I've been in the vinyl community, 
Um, it's a very generous community, I will say that. And um, here's a couple things that I got. One of them is from my friend Anthony. He doesn't make uh, YouTube videos, but he is a uh, on the panel of In the Prog Seat on uh, the great channel Sea of Tranquility. Every Tuesday night, there's an episode of In the Prog Seat, and Anthony sometimes sits on that panel and they talk about topics and whatnot. He gifted me, one of the things he gifted me is this great Steve Hillage 3LP um, Live in Dus Dusseldorf from 1979 album. And he knew I wasn't too knowledgeable of Steve Hillage. Um, and this is just a, a great, great gift from Anthony and uh, really, really great album. Great. It sounds great. And Steve Hillage is going to be Steve Hillage Gong, the bands he was in, going to be a bit of a focal point for me in 2022 and moving forward. So um, thank you once again, Anthony. Anthony Ferraro, if I didn't say your last name. Um, thank you very much. And with that, uh, that's it for the vinyl tag. <laughs> I've gotten through it. I felt a little bit rusty uh, doing this after a two-month break. Um, <laughs> but uh, got through it and appreciate you all, all watching. And um, I'll be making videos when I can. It's It's been tough lately. Obviously, I have been away. Um, <clears throat> but I will be getting back into the swing of things i think i'm going to try to enter more contests uh it's been a while since i've entered contests so um i've noticed contests floating out there i might try to get in some of those um but thank you all for watching check out those uh new channels that i mentioned links are down below um and i'll see you all again soon i really appreciate you watching take care now bye